Hi, my name is Steven Schulteis, CBD advocate and founder of Steve's Goods. Our mission from the very beginning was to get the medicine to the people. And one of the ways we're doing that is with our Hemping Hands program. Now let's watch this testimonial and see how CBD is benefiting their lives. My name is Mary Maynard. I'm a wife and a mother. I have four kids, three dogs, a ball python. Can't forget that. It's the best thing. <laughs> uh, I'm a grandma. My favorite color is green. I love to garden. I love to hike. I love making jokes, even when I shouldn't. Um, I don't like clowns. No clowns. Or pepperoni. I don't like pepperoni. I've had epilepsy for 19 years. I had my first seizure when I was 12 years old. I wasn't officially diagnosed until I was 14. The two years in between there were very hard. Back then, technology lacked. You had to actually have a seizure at the doctor's office while being hooked up to an EEG and is the only way to prove that you had seizure activity and you can't just have a seizure on demand so it wasn't like boom I can have a seizure so it took about two years to finally have one that they could record and document and then I was finally diagnosed with epilepsy. My mom and my grandmother both have epilepsy. It runs in my family. I was on anti-convulsants from 14 until I was 22. My triggers for my epilepsy are stress and lack of sleep. Uh, sleep being a big one. Uh, if I don't get good sleep, it raises my chances of having a seizure really high. When I started trying to find other options, I wanted to do more natural options. The pills would leave me feeling kind of groggy, like I wasn't there. I got on the medical marijuana list registry in 2008. I ended up getting pregnant with my daughter in 2009, and they, are very, they were very against cannabis use while being pregnant. So I got on an experimental drug trial. Uh, it was scary. I had a echocardiogram when my daughter was in my belly. It's like one of the most intense ultrasounds you could ever get. Uh, one of the biggest problems with the medicine I was taking was heart defects and it was in babies. So lots of tests, everything turned out fine. Very scary. I ended up getting off of the medication and getting back onto cannabis. Yeah, only five. Uh, before that, I was having a seizure two to five a week, every week. Um, I was on close to a thousand milligrams of medication a day. And then in 2011, I got pregnant again with my son. I hadn't had a seizure in six months, eight months, and that was really good. I was on cannabis the whole time with my son. I still wasn't sleeping very good at all this time, though. My, I'd never figured out my sleep in all this, the whole sleep trigger. I was more focused on my stress trigger. I think I got that under control, and I realized that I really wasn't sleeping. I was sleeping maybe one to two hours a night and a mom with two kids and big life. I had a job and it was so difficult. So from 2011 until two years ago, I spent so much trying to find something to help me sleep, uh, and to help keep my seizures down. My last seizure was a little around three years ago. I hadn't been sleeping, it's like one to two hours a night. I went to the gym. I was told you could work out, work out really hard. It would, it would make you sleep really good. Um, didn't have that effect on me. Instead, my body got really stressed out. 
I decided to go to Walmart after I was working out. I needed something. Walking through Walmart with my honey and next thing I know, I'm waking up on the floor asking him what's, what's happening and I had a seizure in Walmart. And I woke up and I was like, I gotta do something. I gotta change this. I mean, yeah, I'm not having seizures every two to three weeks, but I'm also not living the life that I should be. And that's when I really started looking into, I don't know, different ways, natural ways, not drugs, not prescriptions that, you know, you need a prescription to fix a prescription to fix a prescription. I uh, wanted something natural, you know, something earth, something that I'd wake up feeling okay the next day. I tried teas, I tried powders, drink mixes, melatonin, a lot of melatonin. I think I heard about CBD from a friend. A few friends, I know one friend had back problems and another friend had some anxiety issues, but the one thing I heard from both of them that was the same was how relaxed it made them feel, how calm, like where they lay down at night and boom, no back pain and no stress. They would just fall asleep. And I knew this is what I needed. I knew. When I take new stuff, I don't just go and grab it because somebody told me it was good. I take the time, I do the research, I find out what, you know, what, what could be my side effects, what could be what could hurt me from this? I know it could be helping, but what could also make it worse? And the only thing that I found in CBD and all the research that I've seen was if you take too much CBD oil, it could give you the poops. That was literally the only thing that I found. So I was like, it's definitely worth a try. I heard about it in like November and then December, I finally was like, I'm going to give you some. Yeah. December of 2017. Well, I heard about Steve Goods. I was at the Indo Expo in 2018, and I was just walking through the crowd. I was there looking for a different CBD company. Um, the CBD company I was using didn't have a stronger milligram, and the CBD tastes nasty. It was gross. It was straight up like you're just eating a plant. Even salad tastes better than it did. <laughs> and I'm walking through I was, you know, meeting a bunch of people at the expo and there was Steve standing there in his big old bright green coat, his beard, smile on his face, John and Kelvin next to him. And they were just like the happiest guys. And he said, would you like come try some CBD? I was like, absolutely. And he gave me some watermelon t-shirt and it was amazing. It was nothing like I was taking. It actually had flavor. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then he handed me um, a sample of a gummy, I think it was. And I tried the gummy and it was amazing. It was great. Well, we sat there and we talked and Steve asked me all kinds of questions, like what I was looking for, why I was looking for it. We started, you know, really, he educated me, telling me about how cannabinoids work together like hand in hand together. One works well with the other, the great partners, how it could help even more with my sleep. Um, and then it was like, let me help develop a stronger dosage for you. I, I don't know this guy and all of a sudden he wants to help me with a stronger dosage. I was like, yeah, I would totally take you up on this. <laughs> and yeah, that moment on, I, it was great. I think it took him about two or three weeks to get it researched and developed, R&D, testing, and then he had me try it. And yeah, overall a great experience, uh, very great experience. Well, may I say, I never got my driver's license until I was 28 years old. When you have seizures, and as many seizures as I had, you are not medically clear to get your driver's license. I, I didn't know if I'd ever drive. So that 
that in itself that I can I still have that card is is really big. And the CBD helps me. It it helps that I get the sleep that I need to where my brain doesn't need to go into that seizure to reset itself. To where the electricity is all crazy in there and haywire. I I get what I need. I and it helps me manage the stress. Like CBD is so calming and relaxing. It is incredible. What I can tell you about Steve Good CBD itself is it's a life changer. I tried many, many things. I actually thought I had tried it all. I was kind of skeptical for the fact that I had used cannabis. So I was like, it's, you know, not going to work the way I was expecting it to. And it, I, it actually helps me sleep better than cannabis does ever has. I struggled for 11 years trying to find the sleep that I needed. And within two, two, three days, I think it was day three that I slept, I think it was six hours and I woke up so confused. I was like, did, the, did I sleep a whole day? Cause that wasn't normal for me. And my normal now is eight hours of sleep, eight hours of sleep normally. Take a little before bed, eight hours of sleep. I would recommend Steve's Good CBD to a lot of people, especially anybody with epilepsy or who can't sleep. Uh, it's changed my life. Um, the stress, the worry of n knowing that I'm sleeping eight hours. I'm not stressed out, not losing my hair. <laughs> and there's not going to be a seizure creeping up at any moment. Now I'm going three years, and then before that it was two and a half years. Going from two to five a week, I would say that is definitely a, a big change. A big change. Um, I don't feel like I need to even say any more. That alone should just speak for itself. <laughs> That's a life changer.